friends and well-wishers gathering to remember a 24-year-old woman stabbed to death mercilessly in broad daylight while she was just at work. The vigil comes one day after police arrested a suspect with a criminal history going back nearly a decade. Alex Capriello is live in Los Angeles with more. Alex. Yeah, good morning to you, Adrian. It really was such a beautiful scene outside this storefront yesterday as hundreds of people came here to drop flowers and leave these new signs behind. Some of them saying, we love Brianna. Other signs offering support for the police officers who were able to identify and track down that accused killer, Sean Smith, in less than a week. It's clear this tragedy left an impact on so many people. Exactly one week after 24-year-old Brianna Kupfer was killed in what police call a random attack, hundreds of people came to a vigil to honor her life and support her family, including many of their friends and neighbors. I can't imagine what they're, you know, what they're going through. We reached out to them a little bit and they're surviving, but how can you live through this? And I have a lot of other really important things to do today, but I needed to come here. Her life had so much promise. It's just like, I can't believe it. The vigil held just one day after the man accused of stabbing Brianna to death was spotted and captured in Pasadena, just 14 miles from the crime scene. 31-year-old Sean Smith, who has an extensive criminal history dating back to 2013, was spotted less than 24 hours after LAPD released new surveillance video and named him the prime suspect. The Kupfer family were not at the vigil on Thursday, but in a message to News Nation, Brianna's father wrote, we very much appreciate that this is happening, but it will be too difficult for any of us to attend. The attention is better served just being about Brianna right now. A $2 million bail has been set for Smith, and the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department says a court date for him is still pending. No timeline yet on when this store will open back up. Obviously, the employees here are grieving the loss of their friend. Another interesting thing to note is that many of these stores here in the area have moved to appointment only, both as a way to minimize COVID risk, but also to ensure that no strangers are able to enter in without being invited in. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.